G'day! Welcome to another Curriculum Burst. Here's a very lengthy middle school problem. It goes as follows. On the last day of school, Mrs. Wonderful gave jelly beans to her class. She gave each boy as many jelly beans as there were boys in the class, and she gave each girl as many jelly beans as there are girls in the class. Okay, it's a little bit hard to understand what that means, but I kind of got it. Uh, she bought 400 jelly beans, and when she finished, she had six jelly beans left. All right. There were two more boys than girls in her class. How many students were in her class? Oh gosh, okay, all right, all right, so let's see. So I don't know how many kids are in the class, but I know there are 400 jelly, jelly beans she gave out and she did it in a sort of a funky way. All right, so she gave as many jelly beans to the boys as there were boys in the class. So for example, I'll just make up some numbers. If there are 10 boys in the class, that means each boy got 10 beans, okay? And if there are 10 boys in the class, each girl, well, there's something about the number of boys and girls, what was it? Uh, there are two more boys than girls in the class. All right, so if there are 10 boys, that means there's eight girls, and each girl got eight beans. All right, so th that's what's going on. I made up these numbers. Maybe it's, you know, for one, it could be 20 boys and 18 girls. In which case, each boy got 20, 20 beans, each girl got 18 beans. All right, so I'm getting the hang of that question. Uh, what's the other information? She bought 400 jelly beans, but when she finished, there were six jelly beans left. So actually, she only ever used 494 beans. All right, so apparently knowing there's 394 beans is enough to tell me how many students there are in that class. Ugh, all right, that seems hard. All right, what am I going to do here? Well, I mean, if I did, if there were 10 boys, 10 boys each get 10 beans, that's what, 100 beans in total, 10 groups of 10, and eight girls each getting eight beans, that's eight groups of eight, that's 64 beans. So there'll be a total of 164 beans, which is way too small when we to get 394 beans. So I could, just try guessing some numbers. I guess it's actually more than 10 boys and eight girls, so I can keep going up a bit and doing it that way. But that feels hard, and I could spend a lot of time just guessing numbers, guessing and checking. It's fine, I'll probably get there in the end, it's fine. But let me, let me try something, something else. There are B boys, let's say B boys, each getting B beans, so I get B groups of Bs, so that's gonna be B squared beans, B times B, like 10 times 10 for the boys. And the girls would be G squared times beans for the girls. So actually, B squared plus G squared is meant to equal 394. So I just become very algebraic all of a sudden, because to me it feels like, I don't know what the actual numbers are, but if it was 10 and 8, it was basically 10 squared and 8 squared. That's all I'm writing here. 10 squared and 8 squared is meant to be 394. Or well, 10 and 8 are wrong. So I want to find what numbers B squared and G squared are up to 394. So I'm going to do something weird. I'm going to engage in wishful thinking, strategy number three, which is, wouldn't it be easy if these numbers are the same? I mean, they basically are the same. They're just two off. So if they're the same number, B squared should be half of 394, and G squared should also be half of 394, roughly. So B squared is roughly, oh, what's that? It's basically half of 400. That's uh, 200, a little bit less than 200, like 190. Actually, it's going to be 197, isn't it? So B squared is basically 197, and g squared is basically 197. So, do you notice any square numbers that are pretty close to being 197? I'm going to stop there. I have a feeling that might be a way to get to this problem. So think about what I just said. Do you know any square numbers that are pretty close to being 197? And see if that then leads to the answer to the problem. And if you get the answer, check the essay that goes with the video. Let's compare our notes. It's actually kind of cool. All right, thanks very much. Thanks for watching. For more curriculum inspirations material, go to our website. Lots of great stuff there.